Welcome to SM023, Episode 3. Here you can see the part we left with in Episode 2 with our center pocket that we'll use for the XY coordinates. I'm laying the final piece on top just to try and show where the uh, sort of final cut's going to lay out. What we're going to do today is mill out the top surface short of the circle I'm pointing at right here. We'll be using the CAD software to calculate how deep that is and create an area to mill out. And then using the cam feature to mill out a rectangle in Mach 3 and then um, the tag mill to continue. I've loaded the part in Bobcat and you can see I've got my rectangle which is actually 0.45 inches in square. You can see that right there. And what I'm going to do is create a point in the center. You'll see why in a second. And the best way to do that is by going to points coordinates and then I'll just enter 0.45 divided by 2 and 0.45 divided by 2 click OK and you'll see a point the next thing I'm going to do is create a rectangle I'm actually going to be pocketing out an area larger than the outside dimension of the part and just leaving the inside circle you can see the area that I need to mill is the distance between the top and the top of the part and the top of the axis I'm pointing at that difference right there we need to figure out how deep that is and the best way to do that is going to be to select the top surface right click choose entity summary and you can see that that's resting at the negative 0.6 axis and the z-plane so that means that that's negative 0.6 inches um, below my zero so now I'm going to create my rectangle. I figured this out ahead of time that I need to be approximately 1.6 by 3.0 inches. I need to do radius on the corners because I'll be using a quarter inch end mill. And I click OK and you can see there I created this rectangle by point and I clicked on the point we just created to center it. I need to leave the area around the circle and to do that I'm, I'm going to go to utilities, extract edges, extract solid, and what I'm doing is extracting the edges around that circle. You can't see anything here, but if I do blank, choose selection mask, uncheck everything, and then recheck solid. And then if I just drag a box around all the parts, right click and choose OK, I'll be blanking all solids. And now you can see what I'm left with is my rectangle, perimeter rectangle that I just created, and two circles that are the edges I just extracted. I only care about the, excuse me, the outside circle, so I'm going to go ahead and delete the inside one. And now I've got the area that I'll need to pocket. Now in the cam portion of Bobcat, and I'm going to select my geometry, I click on this circle first, that's what's called an island, and the rectangle second, choose OK. And then I'm going to go and edit my pocket settings. As we discussed, uh, actually, sorry, I'm only going to go over 35% on my cutter width. I had a small technical glitch on my screenshot recording there, but wanted to fill you in. I chose to go 35% over instead of the normal 50 to be a little conservative on this aluminum cut. I'm doing the offset pocket out, which will start in the middle of the piece and work its way out. Um, I am going to go with this negative 0.06 inch depth of cut as we discussed in, or saw on the CAD. It's the, that's the height that I need to mill out. I'm going to do that across. I meant to do three even uh, depths of negative 0.02, but um, my Bobcat for some reason accidentally did it as four. I'm going to leave a negative, or excuse me, a 0.02 profile to clean up at the end, I'm using a one quarter inch end mill with 6900 RPMs at eight inches per minute. Here I'm using the pocket that we created in episode two as my edge finder area. I'm going along the left side first, and then the next uh, video clip here I'll go along the, uh, what will be the Y axis here.
straight above the square pocket that we milled and as you can see here it's clearly off to the right I believe this is going to be caused by the way I um, made a mistake in, in, in setting my zero with our pocket um, I'm sure it's just a user error and not a problem in the software or in, in the methodology but um, I wanted to point that out and also include it because part of this whole episode and series is about both the successes and the sort of mishaps so stay tuned for sort of an answer on what happened. 